Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, watching our DN6B dance here on the launch pad. That's more than a little unnerving. But we are at our Mars window, and this is our uh, first supply module going out to Harmonia Station ahead of our crewed launches. Uh, this is the Harmonia Resupply Charlie, I believe. Yeah. And it uh, comes in at uh, a little over a hundred tons, sitting atop a DN6BX. Our inclination with the moon is at a very appropriate level. So we're going to turn on SAS. We're going to need that, seeing as how we're going to come up at uh, some kind of weird angle. Throttle is at the full. Ignition sequence start. All right. That's the stress on the clamps I like to see. Trying to go up. That's, um... Interesting. Let's uh, see if we can't correct for some of that. We're heading uh, a lot more north than I would like, so this is definitely going to take some uh, correcting. But I, I turned on indestructible facilities after seeing as how uh, that launch pad just tends to explode at random. It did not explode with this one, and this is probably the heaviest thing we've ever put on it. So uh, I think we're in good shape there. We don't have to spend an additional 60000 every single launch just because uh, a facility that's rated for unlimited weight is not actually rated for unlimited weight. Anyway, uh, this is the first in, uh, let's see, two resupplies, a car, a science hopper, a crew, a lander. Six launches, at least, that we have going to Mars this window alone. So uh, we got to get busy with it. So I'm going to take this to orbit, and I'll pick you all up there. And while we are on our way up, I should mention that this was actually a prototype variant of the DN6BX. Uh, as you'll note, the upper stage is just a stretched version of the same uh, B upper stage that's on the DN5 series. We didn't really do uh, a great job of integrating it in until a, a little later in the development process. But uh, I think all of the future launches that are going up on the uh, DN6 platform will have the finalized version of that uh, B upper stage. Uh, this is essentially the same thing, just the shape and the paint job are different, but uh, I think we got a more effective, more efficient uh, launch vehicle by widening that upper stage a little bit. There's booster sep, um, a little bit of uneven fueling. Surprise, surprise, caused a little torque there. Uh, again, this is a prototype version, so there could have been some fueling issues. And uh, there's your first look at our uh, resupply module. This is the heaviest resupply module we've ever sent. Comes in at uh, a little over 110 tons. And uh, this should provide enough life support supplies to keep the crew on station for a couple of years at least. Uh, I am not planning on keeping them there for five years again. That was a bit excessive and uh, due entirely to oversight with uh, resupplying. We're hoping to avoid that this time. Uh, we're also hoping that we can bring in the Artemis 4L uh, pretty cleanly and with at least 90% of its fuel still intact, which was not the case when the Artemis 3 went out there. We had a little difficulties due to an off-plane transfer. Um, this transfer should go a little better. I think it is still off-plane, but maybe just not nearly as much. And we're coming up on main engine cutoff, so I will turn you back over to old me for live coverage. Shut down. All right, uh, 260 by 183 kilometer is our uh, total orbit. We're going to go ahead and stage off the core. It's got about 600 meters per second left in it, so uh, not bad, not bad. Any second now. There we go. Had to take a quick save. I doubt that'll make a much of a difference. That thing is uh, real heavy, but... Uh, so yeah, throttle's already pegged to zero. Go ahead and activate our HG3. Make sure we just don't have to go through all of that yesterday. All of that yesterday. All of that later. Set as target. We don't need rendezvous planner. We do, however, need maneuver planner. Mech job, if you please, sir. Computing. There we go. Let's run back to pork chop. Uh, how about ASAP? Any time now for a transit duration of 164 days. 
four kilometers per second. I think we can forward that, create node. I think we do have a, a little bit of off planerness to deal with. Yeah, not a big deal. We have certainly budgeted for these things. We can go ahead and uh, put maneuver planner away. I guess we'll, uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna open up these fuels up here and use those nice powerful thrusters up top to help us get angled in. Yeah, 5109 left in this tank. So we're gonna have uh, more than enough to do this in, with some uh, Delta V to spare. There we go. All right, let's uh, come back out of time warp and at least get one of these panels opened up. Maybe we can, you know what? I don't think we need to until after we ditch the HD3 stage. We have just a massive amount of electric charge on board. There's a big chunk of battery in here too. Yeah, like 51,000 electric charge. This is the food, water, oxygen uh, supply crate. We'll have another one with fuel that we'll be uh, sending out after it. And of course, this is the one that has to get there without the uh, life support supplies. Even though the station is entirely full of supplies, um, depending on how much crew we decide to staff with it this time, we might decide that we want uh, more. Really, if this mission doesn't work, we can still send a crew. They're just not going to be able to come home first window. Yeah, this says burn time two minutes. It's going to take us ten minutes to burn through 5,000 meters per second. So uh, I think shooting for about the five minutes of lead time is probably what we want to do. There we go. So let's just uh, bring up our info window here. Ullage, ullage, ullage. Very risky. Risky. Stable, very stable. Ignition. Brilliant. We have a good light and a nice long burn ahead of us. Oh good, our periapsis is not decreasing, so we must be in a pretty good place in our orbit to maintain such a ridiculous angle down. I'm just gonna work on getting this thing to actually point at the node. Thought we'd have more gimbal authority than that, but apparently not. Okay, well, nope, that too much. Much, much, too much. Alright. And apparently, even a pretty good gimbal authority won't do you much good when you're slogging 500 tons around. So, uh, this is of course our Mars injection burn, which will take uh, the vast majority of the uh, more than 9 minutes of runtime that we have on this uh, single HG3. They're rated for 10 minutes, uh, just like the J2S that they were intended to replace. So uh, hopefully we won't be uh, stressing out any of the engine components or burning one out. Because really our entire Mars project at this point, or at least this window, depends on this launch being successful. Uh, this supply module is uh, about 110 tons or so, uh, and then plus the heat shield. Or is that with the heat shield? No, I think it's just 110 tons, and then the heat shield additionally. Anyway, uh, this will uh, give the crew a full life support uh, supplies to work with on their uh, duration at Harmonia Station, and will actually give us uh, a good amount of uh, excess. The Harmonia is actually fully stocked with uh, supplies currently, thanks to me sending more supplies than was absolutely necessary, uh, other than fuel, which kept the last crew on station for way too long. We're hoping to avoid that this time. We're also kind of toying with the idea of doing more than one crew, if not this window, then next window. And a big part of that is making sure that we can have the supplies to keep them well stocked and uh, breathing fresh air uh, the whole time they're there. Just a quick check, Harmonia is still in orbit. KSP has not randomly deleted it, uh, at least as of yet. Uh, I'm going to hope that that remains the case on our trek out there, but if not, I'm not above altering the uh, save file yet again to put it back because there shouldn't be anything knocking it out of orbit. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So, all of our Mars window stuff hinges on this mission and the next resupply mission, which will contain mostly fuel, although a little more life support supplies, and getting them all successfully docked to Harmonia. 
but uh, I think we will be sending the crew out this window, obviously. That's the whole plan. Six launches, one window, one mission. Anyway, here's old me for up-to-date stuff. Oh, well, we look to be pretty on course, but we don't quite have an encounter. Oh, just a very close approach. All right, so let's uh, refocus our view back on the craft here. We're going to have to plot another node. That's fine. Got some fine tuning to do. We do have an ignition left on our HG3, although I did not intend to use it. Maybe we'll uh, we'll have to see how much this uh, correction is going to cost us. All right, 56.4 meters per second, and that will hopefully put our HG3 stage on a collision course. We can go ahead and get rid of it. It would, in fact, be ideal. Uh, all that hydrogen is going to boil off before we get anywhere near Mars, so uh, might as well, you know? Why not? And stuff. So oh, we'll just uh, pivot over here. How much you got left in you, bro? Very stable. Ah, shut it down. Three meters per second off of ideal, of course. Course-wise, it's probably way the hell off. Oh, do we still not even have an encounter? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. All right, well, I guess we'll do this uh, on thruster power. Because why the hell not? Yeah, we're still 15 seconds away from our node. Not a big deal. Are these thrusters done? Empty? Dang it. All right. I guess my dream of piling stuff uh, into Mars instead of letting it just be orbital debris is done and over. So decouple. Let's pull ourselves ever so gracefully away from the core here. Or from the upper stage, I should say. And we should probably get some panels extended. Make sure that we can recharge these massive batteries that we're carrying with us. All right, and back to the map view for a little touch-ups. Yeah, I think we're going to light that uh, AJ-10. Eventually, I mean. Great engine. Ulaged, very stable, very good. Alright, let's get it at least to the correct side of the planet, and then we'll shut down and uh, aim more for that node. Shutting it down. Rather spend uh, 9 or 10 or 20 meters per second here than elsewhere. Yeah, we're pretty close to... Uh... Oh, what's that? Anti-normal. Thank you. And ignition. There we go. Now it's starting to make some sense. Not really. Okay. Plot another node. Ah. Oh. Again, much better to do it here than when we get there. <laughs> Cost us a lot less now. Jeez. Yes, thank you. Now, 2.3 degrees off. Uh, we'll touch up that approach as we get a little closer. Why did everything move? Okay, yeah, KSB is uh, acting pretty weird. This is four meters per second. I am going to use the AJ-10. It's just... Uh, needs to be ulaged. 
There we go. What are you doing? Come on now, friend. Alright, fine. I guess I will use RCS because I would like more direct input control, but we should have unlimited... Oh boy, did I switch that to the 118K? Well, if I didn't, we're out of ignitions. <laughs> Bingo. Get the bullet. Yeah, that's not bad. 2.2 degree. Let's go lock our tank so this thing can't just go all screwy on us. Good. It is the 118K, and it is not going to go all cattywampus on us. Bingo. All right. Quick saving. Resupply 1 is on its way. Fully successful as of right now. We still have to uh, arrow capture with something that weighs like 100 tons, which we've never done before. Dock it with the space station, which will be more than a little painful to watch, I'm sure. And uh, get everyone else there intact also, which is the real hard part. So I guess we should go get to that. And we will. Next episode. That's going to do it for this and everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.